Hello. So in this video, I'm, I'm asking the question, do you do enough push-ups and sit-ups? Now, I hope you all know what a push-up and a sit-up is. You know, sit-ups, when you lay on your back, and you tighten your abs to bring your, um, you know, head towards your knees. You put your knees at like a angle like this, and your back's laying down, and you tighten your abs. You can go all the way up. Actually, I usually do crunches, so I just go, you know, maybe halfway. Try to get my shoulder blades off the ground and go up halfway. And you know, if if you do a few hundred of these, <laughs> you can get your abs pretty sore. I, it's been a while since I really tried to push my limit, but just crunches like uh, it was somewhere between like probably three and five hundred in a row. And then the next few days, my abs get pretty sore, which you know means I'm doing something right. I figure so like good sore, like muscle sore, so not like torn or nothing. So. Um, and then also push-ups, you know, um, are good. You know, you, if you're you you have your body like this, um, you start like this with your, you know, arms facing the ground, and you push yourself up. You know, it's like if you laid completely flat. You know, again, you, most everybody knows what a push-up and sit-up is. And if you have a hard time doing push-ups, like they're just difficult to do, you can start from your knees. So put your knees on the ground, and then just you have so you have less uh, less leverage or less uh, you know less weight. Um, you have a, it's just easier. Just trust me. So, so yeah. So, um, there's no probably set amount to do, but you know the government releases certain like recommendations on exercises, and of course jumping jacks are good too. You know, the government releases uh, you know recommended amounts of exercise, and push-ups and sit-ups are both good sorts of exercise to be doing. Um, so of course don't do them if if a doctor's told you not to. Of course don't, and you know know your own limits, but uh. Especially if you're, you know, um, don't have a gym membership, just doing push-ups and sit-ups is a decent way to, you know, burn calories and try to strengthen muscles. Um, you know, you can try to get it so you can do a few hundred sit-ups or, you know, a few dozen push-ups or something. Um, you can just work your way up, and it's, I think it's good for your health. Make sure you breathe when you do these exercises, you know, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Yeah, and just uh, so yeah, so yeah. The, so again, the question I'm posing is: Do you do enough push-ups and sit-ups? Now, if you're the pinnacle of fitness, you have you know seven percent body fat or you know ten percent body fat, and you're doing pretty good. Maybe you don't need to do a whole lot because you're already doing something right. But you know, if you think you need to exercise more, push-ups and sit-ups, if if you know, are a decent way to do it. So <laughs> it's a pretty basic way. But yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this. Uh, I'll probably stop it here. Um, please just go ahead and subscribe subscribe to my channel, share this video, visit my websites, and then also watch my other videos. I would encourage you to do all that. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.